Hello everyone, today we are going to be unboxing, comparing, and contrasting how two different hardware manufacturers approach design when it comes to the Evangelion collaboration. We are checking out Asus's Maximus Z690 Hero motherboard and MSI's Mag B660 Tomahawk motherboard. Let's begin! As you can see, we are not going for an apples to apples comparison between the two boards, as these are two different chipsets, the Z690 which is Intel's high end chipset, and the B660 which essentially is a more mid tier chipset. Instead, we are going to be taking a look at how these two companies approach design collaboration and how they apply it to two different tiers of motherboards. First up, we're going to be checking out the AVA edition of the ROG Maximus Z690 Hero board. After doing an initial unboxing and inspection of this edition of the Maximus Hero, I did find out that there's no content difference between this and a normal Maximus Z690 Hero board. Most of the differences will come from the design aesthetics of the motherboard itself. So that will be the main focus point of this video. Examining the board closely, it seems to have taken its design cues from the rebuild of Evangelion movie series, as the slick decals and smoother aesthetics reflects the updated look of the rebuild series, of course alongside the ROG branding. I actually like how subtle the design is on the exposed portion of the PCB, mainly the AT field pattern seen on the CPU socket. The backplate is pretty much a standard backplate, with no extra flourishes reflecting the collaboration. The back of the PCB shows a lot of the collaboration branding. Honestly, while not a big deal since this portion of the board will not be exposed, I dislike the overt design of the branding on this one. As a plus when it comes to aesthetic integration, since Asus also made the AVA variant of the Strix 3080 and 3090, we won't have to worry about the color tones matching between the two pieces of hardware. Now let's plug this board up and see it in action. The motherboard design literally lights up once it's plugged in. While the main board itself doesn't have a lot of lighting effects, the lighting effects seen on the IO cover and heatsink is spectacular. It depicts FA Unit 01 in its two states. The normal state and its berserk state. Like mentioned before, since both of these pieces of hardware are designed by Asus, it's expected that these two will match each other when it comes to overall design of the system. Booting up the system, you'll see some pretty neat design touches the team at Asus did for the post and bio screen. The post screen has been changed from the standard ROG branding to the collaboration branding, showing the top secret logo as well as the ROG X Evangelion collaboration. The design touches on the BIOS is pretty small, but a good detail to note as this shows that the team at Asus really put in the extra effort on this collaboration. Now let's go to MSI's take on this collaboration. Alright, now going to MSI's take on the AVA collaboration, we start seeing the difference on how both companies approach design. This is clearly visible on the packaging. While 
Asus decides to go with a more color neutral tone when it comes to packaging and only seeing the silhouette of Ava Unit 01 under the right lighting, MSI decided to go with the, I'd say more overt approach when it comes to collaboration packaging, where you can see Ava Unit 1 displayed up front. MSI's approach to this B660 board is quite weird in itself, since the direct comparison with this is the Mag Tomahawk has two versions, the normal B660 Mag Tomahawk is DDR4, and the normal Z690 Mag Tomahawk is DDR4 and DDR5. This one seems to sit somewhere in the middle between these two products when it comes to the price tag. The main gripe I have when it comes to this is the memory compatibility. I was hoping it's closer to the normal Mag B660 board, so that the user is still able to use their existing DDR4 memory rather than forcing a DDR5 upgrade if the user wants to do a mid-grade Evangelion theme build. Alright, let's check this board out. Upon initial observation, you'll notice that the board itself lacks any lighting features, but the design approach seems to take cues from the 90s series, as you can see from the abundance of text on the PCB which is pretty reminiscent of the 90s series aesthetic. Honestly, aside from the large Evangelion E project text on the lower M.2 heatsink, the board's design is really nice. The fantastic placement of the Nerve logo in the Evangelion 01 is pretty well thought out. The IO shield on this one is pretty much the standard IO shield design for the Maglon. Aside from the small Evangelion touches, like the Nerve logo and the diagonal stripe margins on the top and bottom of the IO shield. So the question that now comes to mind is, since MSI did not make a GPU to go with the Evangelion build, will the color tone of the existing Asus AVA GPU match with this motherboard? The answer would be yes. The people at MSI did a proper color match with Unit 01, so the board's theme should match with the Asus Evangelion GPU. Alright, let's boot this baby up and see if there's any flourishes within the post screen and the BIOS. The post screen, just like the Asus board, has been modified to show a line art of Unit 01. Though personally, I prefer Asus's post screen design. The BIOS itself has a small amount of design modifications and can only be seen by switching to the advanced mode. Even then, it's only displayed on the home page. I wish they added a bit more flourish to the layout of the BIOS since this is a special collaboration rather than adding a Unit 01 line art on the home page of the advanced screen. Overall, I'd say this collaboration is really well done. Having two available motherboards at two different price points gives people who wants to build a theme PC additional budget options. Even the design is varied when it comes to the motherboard, as the user now has a choice to use either a lightningless motherboard or the one that has a pretty intricate RGB design. I do disagree though with MSI's use of DDR5 on a B660 board, as it now forces a budget increase when doing a theme build. If they went with DDR4, the builder can use an existing memory or even a lower cost than DDR4. Another improvement that could have been done on this collaboration is adding a 3070 or a 3060 in this collaboration stack. This is just to increase the budget range that people can do when doing theme builds. Despite some of its missteps, this collaboration is a hell of a lot done better than the Gundam collaboration. While the Gundam collaboration had both AMD and Intel, the hardware design disparity between the two platforms is 
pretty obvious. Honestly, if more collaborations are done like this, having a product stack on different price points gives the consumer more options to choose from. If you have any questions about these two boards, leave a comment down below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. For now, see ya!